than tax to them. Thank you. Let's so we're probably wrong. Evolved. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grubster. Happy birthday to you. A roller coaster of emotions. It seems like she's halfway there. <laughs> I didn't know she could do that. Very nice dance there. She's like halfway there. The Grubster sounds so sad. It's like she's so happy to sing a song for someone until she realizes it was me. Just like when I was a baby. Just like when I was a toddler. Brings back memories. Thank you, Danster. Worth it for $3. It's because of you I can make mistakes. We're all playing super greedy. Uh, it's not really my birthday. No. Uh, May 11th. Uh, 27 days. Fantastic. Hey, it's Eleslas. Uh, he was the good Don last game, wasn't he? And Zaitsev, Alucard, we're meeting the same peeps. I'm not playing Tas again because he got banned. I was born on Mother's Day, 86, May 11th. Uh, let's do a vote again. to ban Paul. I don't know what to ban. Oh, this is my jam! Ooh, interesting buzz. All right, I'll do it because I've never played them on this map before. Where will we end up this time? Where will we end up this time? Thanks for the vouch, guys. For the frozen throne. <laughs> So, the funny thing about Varian, using Varian to counter Tassadar shields, is that even as you're removing shields, you're mostly just doing that, right? Whereas his other level 13, which removes healing, is also good against non Tassadar. It's more like, does Tassadar fit the design philosophy of your draft? Not, you just take him to remove the shield. You're not there yet, you know? You're not there yet, just removing the shield from someone. Mortal Strike does a similar job. Anyway, what do I want to ban? Zeratul Dhaka. <laughs> I don't know what to ban. Like, come on. ETC, Murden, Varian. Let's ban Murden. I mean, <laughs> sure. Melee Assassin, Warrior, Lucio, of uh, wait. Uh, that rivals are Towers of Doom draft. Uh, 
I really need melee asperts thrall G main Lyra all okay here we go this is the first time I've ever played Vikings on warhead Junction theory says this should be okay here because of the large uh, size but the lanes are pretty deep rapidly evaporates your nukes and at that point it becomes hard for me to soak or deep push because of the curvature of the map uh, the, the top lane is curved just like on black hearts which means soaking even slightly on their side at all creates a negative travel distance deficiency for me to get back to lane and for them to gank me. If they control the watchtower, they can easily travel with a shorter route to cut off my path and, and gank me. Now that will be okay if they have no fast attack as Zera, but those happen to be extra good on this map, even if I don't have Vikings. So that is a uh, that is definitely their the arc nemesis of Vikings. These kind of global heroes and Zeratul. Go as for follow Valera. Please, never group, never lane, unless I ask. I mean, never group with me. Never don't group with each other. Also, ignore me. Sorry for the wolf text. Alright, let's, uh, let's focus. Um, I'm going to get... You know... I'll get bribery, I always get bribery. Oh, interesting. Ooh, interesting. Uh, I think the cloak would be pretty good. North by Northwest. Never done group. The, the cloak would be pretty good, but... I'm not used to using it. I, I pretty much always play one build. Because I mostly just play them on uh, Garden of Terror. I'm Eric, where bribe is super good. Oh nice, he has no telekinesis. Maybe they can get him during its downtime. So... I'm not gonna tell you how to counter Vikings now. There's ways to counter them. But I prefer if you just see how that doesn't happen. I don't want to run the risk that they're listening and start to play better against it. Because right now I'm very happy with what, how they're playing it. I don't know if this is safe. Nice. I'll just say this, because they keep pushing the lane, I can soak the XP behind my towers with tower ammunition safely. Experienced MOBA players from other games, they know this. If you have read the Dota 2, Welcome to Dota 2, You Suck by Purge, you'll have read things like freezing the lane perfectly, preferably slightly closer to your side of the map. As a result, you would uh, be able to soak safely, deny safely, last hit safely. Of course, not everything here uh, applies, but the soak range, the safety definitely applies. And so because they keep pushing the lane, I can soak where basically my Vikings, they are not strong enough to contest them in the lane uh, my viking should be gankable if they don't push the lane here here i went ahead and explain anyway i went ahead to explain how they can counter me but you know um, i will say that they're doing pretty good they're ahead of xp Right, so we got another kill. We do need a kill like clockwork because they're out soaking and out pushing due to uh... He's getting too frisky uh, the hahaka By going for the haka at least just once that gives us not only the watchtower vision 
but also makes him play less aggressive. And this is something I need because he's getting too much push. See, this is how you co-play with Vikings. You travel as four, you get kills, completely ignore... Uh, completely ignore... Um, Uh, soaking. Vikings soak. Of course you need soak, me. push, and so on. Uh, what now? Fine with me. Eliminate that cube. Ah. I'm a hungry man with the name of Turkey. Ah. Right away. Uh, I don't know if this is safe. My sword is a shot. Someone assist me. Freya, you'd better be watching this. What you need? Nice, another kill. Yeah, okay. This might not go the way we think it will. All right, so the best position to steal their bruisers, which I can almost do, is theirs. If I get mine, the Haka's gonna pretty easy clear. Never mind. I've got the bad feeling about this. No, really. She used abilities on me, that's a win for me. But they're they're playing well, Oppo. Um, it's gonna take us a while to get um, even Steven with them. Did we lose convection stacks? No, no convection. Good. This is not a convection stack matchup anyway. I go for play again, the only real alts with vikings uh, we should be getting back into it uh, we should be getting back into it That's my first bribe. It's a little bit before. on the slow side. My sword looking forward to this. Uh, this is Merc Camp. Uh, Merc Queen. It's called. What's it called again? Yeah, Mercenary Lord. It helps to make your Mercs attack harder. He doesn't have kill pressure on him. So you just. Park in the bush and make them stronger. Like Zertal nearly died to them. <laughs> nice, they got another kill. Excellent. Like they cannot stand still in lane and kill a Merc Lord at Raven Goliath camp. Look at this. He's severely underestimating that damage. This one too, extra damage. Okay, he just used all of his essence. Let's empower them again. So they don't get XP, but it's worth a deny, I think. Uh, because I use play again, that's one of the reasons you take play again, to keep positive XP pressure. Let me go back and rethink this. 
Oh, I've never seen okay. such impressive okay. graphics before. That was a close call. Wait, where am I going? Oh, damn it, right. Here's rocks in your eye. This is where you get jump. Vastly increases your survivability. With only two tributes, it's going to be a little bit more tough to contest. No bribe stacks yet. Get us. Okay, forced out an alt. That's fine. I don't mind if I lose Olaf for that. Alarak coming for me. I hope you have directions. If I just stay here, you won't find me, I think. I have one bribe stack. Maybe I use it on the Goliath. Maybe I take the vision first. At first, I just regenerate and tank it a bit. No, I can do it, I think. Looks like I will get it anyway. Greetings, friend. Bring me through the food. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, he's winning. He might have won by himself. I don't know if this is Greetings, friend. This might not go the way we think it will. Yes, we really just need to hug all the time. Thanks for the subs, guys. We're getting value anyway, you know. get uh, the stun so I can provide more team fight value I'm Eric. To to Eric. Oh. Where do you get these ideas anyway right away take that and this and a few of these Looks good, looks good, looks good. Looks bad. Nice ancestral. Well done, well done, well done. And Vala ain't there. I will trickle her down until uh, I can kill her with uh, play again. Okay, she might come from here. Or I will just come for her. It's okay, thank you. Just baiting out abilities. Bring me through the 
I have one bribe stack, not that much. Even though we are losing in... Actually, we, we're not dropping that much XP. We're 12, 10 in takedowns. We're not as far ahead as I would think. I'm not sure why. But we're still winning. Like, if you look at the amount of siege... I think... Okay, I know what happened. They got... No, I don't know what happened. Never mind. I thought they got more nukes, but then we don't have that much lost building, so that doesn't make sense. It's possible that I more often join with the Viking, the team fight. Maybe this can help. I think I will start doing so now. You can start earlier if you feel like your team is struggling, but I feel like they've been doing okay. Uh, if you have Olaf at on control group 1 and he gets stunned, you can press number three or two to use your jump and it will break him free. But it doesn't work if you have him selected. That's what I just did. That's why I was able to break the stun immediately. Important thing to know. Nice. Mark Lord. Value. Nice, we got Lucio, well done. I'm going to join the fight now. Elimination complete. Austin Powers, anyone? I should have spin to win this mountain. Fury of the Storm gives you a lot of team fight power. Look at Fury of the Storm. Nice splash. Uh, not the most successful play to win chase, but you know, it was just a try. You have lots of margin for error with Vikings. Nice little death timers on Vikings. I've never seen this before. 58, 10. I'll keep them busy by dying. Yeah, we don't need to bait it because we know they are here. They will go for bot boss, maybe. I need to go there. Oh, if I like this. No, they're not. Yes, they're not going for bot boss. So good. So normally pushing with boss post 20 as usual, but we're Vikings, we have superior map pressure. That means there's no real reason to force the issue. You need to ask yourself, if we attack with boss, it's 50-50, 60-40 or 40-60. Let's say it's 60-40. But you look at the map and you say, okay, this, the map is actually 70-30, then you don't fight. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're safe. I have, uh, oh, hello. I hope you have directions. Hello. Yeah, I saw you back there already. Uh, I might be able to finish off top. Uh, this one first. Thank 
back. No, he lives. But they don't. Nice. Cool game. Congratulations. MVP. What is your key binding for attack move? A. Epic. I didn't see him. I, I feel like I played a different mini game. If, if my team says he did well, then he did well then. <laughs> Can you show explain talents please? Sure. Let me check. Let me check it out. First, the XP. What was the tough part? Um, so first I show you this. Please take a screenshot. Press Alt, print screen, put it in your paint. Do that now if you're interested. Five, four, three, two, one, okay. And then I'll actually talk about, just for a sec, the alternatives. Block armor is not a map control talent, it's team fight, And they are useless in team fight because they take too much splash damage from everything. Spy games is nice for uh, staying in a lane without leaving. But it's a crutch because Eric is very fast. So if you see that they're coming for you, you're not going to gamble and hope. That if you stay under your invisibility cloak that they do not find you once they know you have that talent they're gonna reveal the bushes so a crutch eric is fast leave before they come over uh explosive attacks uh is a very good push talent and it's my alternative when i do not take bribery if like the map has very little relevant creep camps i take explosive I went for Merc Lord again. Good creep caps on this map. On this map, it's a sabotage. I heard it's a little bit bugged. Even when it wasn't, it's weak. It's very slow. You would have to come back every 10 seconds to get max value to do one hit, and it just doesn't do enough damage. Eric the Swift is very good. It's a good map control talent as he heals up and is even faster. He becomes extremely troll if you use Eric the Swift. And it's my go-to talent when I don't get Merc Lord. Payload Hurt is a teamfight talent, which makes it kind of useless because Paylock's range is too short and it's not survivable enough. Same thing with Fierce. Norse Force, design-wise, very useful, but the actual numbers on it is so weak that I never get it. Spin to Win is a map control and map push talent, wave clear. It's the perfect thing for what makes Vikings tick. So I always get spin to win. It's also a good burst damage. When you bring three Vikings together and you spin to win, all three hit the same target. It's not like it doesn't stack. So big burst. Play again. You saw what I use it for. Reposition. Revive and team fight. Uh, save uh, a hero that uh, save a Viking that would otherwise die. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Longboat raid forces you to bring your Vikings together, all the ones that are alive before using it. It is a decent sustained damage alt, but you don't want to bring your vikes together because then you're not soaking. It is situationally possible, but I almost always regret taking it. Jump gives you very important survivability and trolling potential. Uh, Burning Rage is a team fight talent that forces Olaf to stay in the fight. It's pretty good, but it's outperformed by jump. Nordic Attack Squad team fight talent that forces you to stay alive for the full duration to get good value out of it. It also forces you, because it has a short cooldown, it suggests that you should continually be team fighting, which they, you know, they're not good at it. I would only take this if I have Vikings on Tomb of the Spider Queen against Cho'Gal. The stun is very good for team fight, and by level 16, you finally need to start contributing to team fights. If you're losing, you need to suddenly help your team to fight. If you're winning, you're like level 17 v 14, you can end the game with this. 
and uh, hero kills become so important at that time. Opponent starts playing safer. They're not like uh, split soaking anymore, so your team has more difficulty to get by easy kills. And they start clearing your Vikings. Losing Vikings hurts more as well late game, so you really start to like not greedily push without a care in the world for the survivability of your Vikings. And here you get the stun uh, to help with the inevitable team fights that either go on your core, their core, keeps and so on. Actually, this one is a better map pressure talent. More jumps, more spin to wins. And that's it, right? Yeah, more jumps and more spin to wins. Really, really, really good. You push much harder, like a horse. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I try to be a bit more teamfight oriented. This one is not useless in teamfight. Bit more jumps, bit more spin to it. But your Vikings may or may not stay alive long enough to get like two or three skill cycles off. So I really do like that one second stun. He can do this every eight seconds. Uh, this one is kind of bad. You run faster, but you're already super fast when you run. And you have jump. Executioner is kind of good. It is. But again, like it's hard to keep them alive. And you definitely should not be drawing healing resources from your team. Like hyper carry, viking teamfight is not a thing. Maybe in the future it will be. And then this could be super OP. Everything at level 20 is good. Checkpoint reached. Means you can fight three times with them in a team fight very strong the sequel kind of good 30 second death timers but then it is kind of cancelled out by play again like you can already do a full reset so you're now getting less value out of play again when you use this a fear of the storm is the best each one gets a crit that spreads across an entire minion wave insanely boosting their push power and pve power and it's pretty good in team fight the additional uh, target hit, the 40, which scales a lot, don't worry, it's not 40, it's a lot more. A lot of extra burst in team fight, and that's my go-to. Um, we're seeing the objective beginning. Both teams getting up there pretty quick, but currently the lead going over to Team Gang Gang. Point blank, Hulk. is dodging the CC, and instead it's going to be Rask waiting forward, attempting to get to Zay, doing exactly what we said, ignoring Andy Hero, but unfortunately, and the hero too large, able to body block anyone from chasing uh, chasing Zay. Did you say too large? Too large. Oh, okay. I thought Ooh, large. Rask I thought you dropping were calling him low. Fan. He's tanky, but is he tanky enough? Is he going to give in the flame strike? Guarantees the kill. 